Anyways, Edgewater. This is where we're supposed to be headed. Let's see if we can talk to someone in here to get the uh, the energy thing for the spaceship. Let's see if we can head into here and find. Oh, these uh corporate recruit. Okay, so these are uh, friendly fellas. What about this? There's like a robot or here or something here. What is this? I guess these are just dead robots. Okay. Whoa, hey. Oh. Where'd you come from? I wonder if I could steal that shovel. Does that say how much stats it does? I don't think so. Whoa. That guy knows. What if I could drag and actually just pick it up? Ooh. Nah, I can't do the drag it away thing and then steal it whenever you're out of sight. Nah, that'd be pretty funny if I could. Hey there, Silas. How's it, how's it going? Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. The uh, why do you say that? Not my problem. Don't be sure. I could be a marauder. Ooh. I think that's because I'm wearing the marauder's uh, helmet, right? Because I've got like a miner's outfit or something like that, right? Why do you say that? Not my problem. Uh, I could be a marauder. I don't know what I should say here, honestly. Like, I already know why I said it, because I've got the marauder's helmet, right? But, uh, not, yeah, let's do my, not my problem. Just passing you a fair warning is all. Okay. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Whoa, low prices. Whoa. <laughs> I never got your name. I'm... <laughs> Gosh, this is so stupid. I, I love now that I, I literally named myself bragging. I'm actually saying I'm bragging there. That is so dumb. Like, for a second, I was like, what in the world? Why does it say I'm bragging? <laughs> but I forgot I literally named myself that. Oh, that's going to be stupid. <laughs> Do they pay you to chat with strangers? Lie. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. But that's the ship back there, so they're going to be like, hey, you illegally uh, parked that over there. So I don't know why I'd want to do that, honestly. I might incriminate myself if he already uh, is in contact with the other people. Is that why you got a pair of armed guards? Eh, I guess we could make conversation with them. Let's, let's do that one, the armed guard one. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Yeah, that makes sense. You're telling me there's cannibals out there? Yeah, we heard about them, the heckin' marauders eating people earlier on. That's kind of crazy. I uh, never got your name on break. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could talk about the cannibals. Oh, worse. Unemployed cannibals. You ever seen a marauder hold down a job? Or put a stake into society? Ew! Unemployed cannibals? Oh, God! <laughs> if you've got a marauder problem, I can take care of it. I never got your name on Brett. Let's just get that one out of the way. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice, that's what uh, that's what I was thinking of earlier. Who do I talk to about a power regular? That's what we need for the spaceship, so we're going to want to do that one for sure. I'm looking to make a load of money while I'm here. Uh, this place is falling to pieces. Looks like it's falling to pieces. Junior in humor, fancy title for a grave digger. Uh, let's do the power regulator one, because we do need that. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh, do I get to actually tell him? Depends on the work, you offering a job? I do what I want. Eh. I don't want him to think I'm unemployed. <laughs> uh, depends on the work you're offering me a job. Let's hear that. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Hmm. So you want me to collect what's up, what's owed to you? I could do that. You're making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you about something else. Uh, I guess we could do that. I'm like, it sounds like a side quest we're going to be starting here, so sure, let me just collect what's owed to you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. <laughs> okay, why is Abernathy a special case? And where can I find these people? Eh, they asked you the Abernathy one. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Make sure he pays up. Alright. Well, where do I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Alright. 
There was something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah, there's something else, wasn't yeah. there? Let's see. You lose a lot of people to Marauders. That wasn't there earlier. Uh, this, yeah, this town is in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You ever heard of the news about The Hope? How long have you been a junior in humor, grave digger, or whatever? <laughs> uh, I guess about the Hope thing. I guess we would ask about that. The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing, far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Uh, yeah, someone smuggled me out of there. <laughs> I don't understand. You're saying everyone's forgotten about us? Oh, that's kind of giving us away. The hope isn't a rumor. It's real. I'm living proof. Let's change the subject. Uh, should we? Should we do it? Should we just be like, okay, yeah, I was on there. Some random guy smuggled me out, or should I just change the subject? Hmm. I don't know if should I, if I should tell him about that. It's just an acquaintance. I don't want to... Uh, let's just change the subject. Something I can do for you? I don't know if there's anything else we could do here. Yeah, about those... Yeah, I got a question. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave the conversation. Get those uh, get those fees for this guy. The quest tracker displays objectives for the active quest. You can change your active quest in the quest log of your ledger. Might want to get rid of that. There you go. Noise. Oh, do we actually... Uh, oh, okay. Scroll wheel goes through your weapons and stuff, so I don't have to go through like one, two, three, four and stuff. But yeah, I don't think there is like a third person. That kind of sucks, but I do wonder... Is there a way for me to dual wield these? I don't know if I can. Oh, that inspects it. Whoops. I don't know if I can. Uh, that just switch, switched them out, yeah. I don't know if- oh, I'll switch them back out. I'll keep the 91% one right there. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to dual wield. Uh, I have- uh, I don't know. I'll probably have to figure it out a little bit later, because that left hand there being all empty is kind of implying that I could dual wield if I felt like it, you know, but... Either way, I guess we're going to be heading into town and going to that one guy. I forgot his name, but, uh... Let's go to Edgewell. Oh, gosh. Hold it. Oh, yeah. Let's put our weapon up. Hopefully, we don't go in there with a weapon out. So, let's go into Edgewater. Emerald Vale. That's where we're at. I guess that's like the, the planet we're on. Or like the lo like state or location or whatever. Edgewater discovered. Plus 600 XP. Hey, I'm that much closer to leveling up. Just need to get 10 more of those. Or 9 more. Well, if I had no XP already, right? Anyways. Oh, gosh. There's a random guy right here. Hey there. Guard. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Spacer's choice. Let's go inside. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Okay, well, I guess we can go inside here and just- Oh gosh! They actually do have these things as pets. What in the world? Close this door behind me, or- Oh, I can! Hey, look at that! I'm being courteous. <laughs> can I open this? No, I can't. No access. Don't say what it is, though. Who are you? Oh gosh. What in the world? I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. But why is that? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Uh, I don't mind. Why? What's going on here? You make it sound like I'm being watched. Yeah, I'm like, I'm probably not wrong. <laughs> uh, I don't mind. Yeah, I guess we could. Yeah, what's going on here? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Alright, should we just leave or... I got some training, I could look at you. Hmm, I guess I could try that. How did you get sick? Let's let's find that out first. I'm not worried, I don't get sick, sick often. Well, that's for strength. Oh yeah, let's ask how she got sick. First, I started feeling real low. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't wake up on time. Started showing up late to my post. Morale was flagging. I was showing doubt. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Hmm, that's ridiculous. Can't blame yourself for because you fell sick. It's a little late for that. Golly. <laughs> uh, I guess we do that. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Ah, I, oh, I can't do the medical thing anymore. Man. Alright, that sucks. Yeah, okay, this, this is a sick house. I guess we'll leave. There you go. Close the door behind us. Don't want to have this sickness escaping. Ugh. People not working. Ugh, right? What is this? Canteen specials. Hey, hot meals, cold meals, live music when available, and 
day old Saltuna, two bits off. Hey, so yeah, that does also confirm, yeah, bits are money. So that's good to know. What does it look like? Okay, so that's what it looks like for a place that we can go inside of. Same thing here. Emerald. Yeah, uh, barbershop. That was where we had to go for one of the guys, right? Is there a hotkey to go directly to the, to the journal? Let me see. J? Okay, yep. Just like anything else, J for journal. All right, that's good to know. But, uh, where's it? This one? Where would it be? Small. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Now, where's the guy in the graveyard? Which one's the graveyard one? Or, uh, not graveyard. That's literally the guy I just talked to. Silas from the graveyard. Uh, but there was one at a barber shop. Where is it? Uh, yeah, this one right here. Conrad. So we have to go collect Conrad's gravesite fees. Let's go inside here and talk to him. Conrad, open up. You owe me, or you owe Silas money. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Uh, well, relax, I'm clean. Yeah, I should probably take off that Marauder helmet that I've got going on, at least while we're in town, so we won't have people just freaking out every time we talk to them, right? I could, I could show you my hands. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? I guess we could be a heckin' jerk about it, right? We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Mm, speaking of death, Silas sent me to collect your f uh, your dues, yes. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Uh, no, because, uh, you owe him money. You just said, uh, nothing's free, so you mean you're broke. Yeah, I don't understand a word. You do. Yeah, you just said a bunch of jargon. Try and confuse us, but, uh, you mean you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. Oh! I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. <laughs> When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash, right? <laughs> when I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Uh, I don't care. Pay up. Uh, you have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. That's a uh, quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, I don't know. I could be a savage and be like, I don't care. Just give me that money, hater. Or I could be uh, a little bit friendlier to him, I suppose. Like, yeah, don't be so hard on yourself, I suppose. I have to be. If only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Just give Silas an IOU? Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get a little bit more information about these medical rights. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Ooh, just get Silas and IOU. I guess if we do that, there's nothing else we could do unless we just leave. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm, I'll let you know if I think of anything and leave conversation. Yeah, there's probably... Much obliged. Yeah, there's probably something here. Oh gosh, there's blood on the table right there. I'm like, he did just say, uh, treats or, uh, prepares people when they're heckin' dead. But, uh, heavy ammo, I'm like, that steel, I don't want to steal right in front of him. Maybe, maybe later, but are those his lucky clippers? Uh, maybe. But, uh, I can steal the bit. He has five bits right here? What is he saying? He just said he didn't have a bit to his name or whatever? I can liar. Oh god, here are the dead bodies he was talking about. Spacer's Choice Guard. There's some heckin' stuff. Let me just do da 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 There's another dead body right there. Hey, son, hey, I'm, I was this guy's assistant. He's like a dead, just lying on the ground. Is that his heart? What is that? I don't know what that is. There's like a mirror right there. Examine. Oh, it's a letter. Oh, there's it was a mirror and a letter. Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice Property. Golly, this is, this is getting kind of out of hand, you guys. Eugene was an asset. 
and somebody has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us, so I was thinking that we could pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell his teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Wagger your eyebrows. Phyllis G. So, I assume this guy's already got his gold teeth exhumed out of his face, so I can't loot it. Even if... Well, he's got like a mask on too, so it's probably hiding that, right? Yeah, Lee. What if I could find the old teeth around here? That'd be pretty cool. I can bone saws and stuff around here, big old TV. What's this thing in here? Fridge? Probably where he's storing. I can... Brains and stuff. Right, can I loot this? Does that guy really like not care? Can I uncover this dead body? I don't know if I can. But, uh... I'm like, I am. I do have some sneaky, some sneaky memes, so, uh... Bit cartridge. Uh... Light assault rifle necklace. I'll take it all, hater. Boom! Noise. Small percentage of weapons and armor you find may are considered pristine. They have more durability. Okay, so that's that's what I was wondering earlier. Like some of the weapons and stuff may have uh, have like better stats and stuff. Uh, so that's pretty cool. If we have like a pristine, uh, is that it right here? Yeah, light assault rifle. Where's the other one? Light assault rifle. No, they're both the same. Where's that pristine thing? Else, oh, I think I was just saying that earlier, just to kind of say, yeah, some things can be better, right? Either way, I did say I wanted to get rid of the uh, the mat. The no, that's the mining helmet. Makeshift low pressure suit. Wait, what was he talking about earlier? Piece of metal mining helmet. Oh, uh, that must. Oh, yeah, Marauder helmet. It says right there. Very hard to see right there, but it does say Marauder helmet. This helmet is made up of pieces of at least four other Hephaestus mining helmets, plus parts of a mummy. What? Uh, so, yeah, we, we could get rid of some of the stuff there as well. So now, now we have to do a face reveal. I know, it kind of sucks. But uh, people were complaining about us, so hey, there you go. Well, didn't find anything back there. I'm I'm sorry. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking for a way to repair my ship. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? Yeah, I could do that. We just found that out. You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. I don't know why in the world I'd say that, but uh, I don't know. Maybe to get on his good side, perhaps. Right before I'm like, yeah, I know about Eugene and his gold teeth and stuff. Uh, let's do the medical tent. Sure, let's do it. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Uh, you could say that. <laughs> Only if we use the term doctor loosely. Yeah, exactly. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Well, I've got a 59% chance, so uh, get on my level. <laughs> I'm looking to repair my ship. Yeah, let's do the uh, gold teeth thing. Yeah, I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? Uh, there's literally a letter over there incriminating you. You know that, right? I found a note from Phyllis. None of her business. I'm a mind reader. <laughs> Let's do that one just for the memes. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Uh, no he didn't. Uh, he doesn't have any teeth. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sure he won't miss them. Yeah, they were probably worth a few bits. Yeah, I'm like, he's dead, so who cares, right? <laughs> That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Oh, so it wasn't the guy just laying on the table. Okay, I guess this guy's already in the ground, huh? So, I guess you're going to have to. I don't care, I'm just here to collect your dudes. Yeah, you're going to have to. Go, go dig over there, Hita. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, there you go. We got that guy solved there. A little bit of a little bit of memory we just had. Maybe I could take a little something something because he's literally turned around. So, uh, ba boom. Yep, you don't know anything about what I just did right there. Five bits in my pocket, and I got the IOU. So, hey, we got that guy's mission done. Or at least that part of the side quest, huh? What is this? Oh, that's the cantina that they, the uh, sign over there was advertising. So, Spacer's Choice Cantina. I can go inside here and hang out. Oh, look at that. I got 50 XP for ex for discovering this. That's kind of strange. What in the world? That guy was walking sideways for a second. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. 
I assume that's some sort of drink over here, huh? Like this? Steel mock apple juice. Hey, there's like a cider there, huh? What's back here? I'm just I'm just going to walk in the back. Don't mind me. It's probably like a hotel or something like that. Like there's actual yeah, there's a restroom there. Oh, this is some oh gosh, hacking and picking locks. Yeah, I was about to say it looks like something we have to like hack into. Let's see. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need, and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used, and speed up the process. Alright, noise. So, mag picks are those small blue things, I think, right? So, two seconds to pick this. I don't know if I want to pick it. I don't know if... <laughs> Like, what's the point to go back there other than just, like, straight-up curiosity? What in the world is with these lights? They look all strange. I guess we can go to the restroom real quick. Oh my god, I haven't, I haven't gone to the... What in the world is this toilet? Okay. <laughs> There's nothing even here. There's a blow dryer there, a sink. There's just, like, actually nothing in here. Okay. Is this actually shut behind you or is... Okay, it's just straight-up open forever. Okay. Uh, two seconds to... Let's do this. Sure. Oh, oh. Seems like there's enemies back there. It's like, it's like revealing enemies back there. Should I even be doing this? I'm going to do this. Oh. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Am I being detected right now? Is there a camera in here or something? Might be the people behind this door that, uh, that saw me, huh? Oh, there's no one back there. What was I seeing just a second ago? There's like icons. Is that a camera? No, there's, I don't think... There might be in here, though. I can Big Brother's watching 24-7, right? Sheesh. What's that over here? Uh, armor parts. Impact hammer. Ooh! Mag 2 zap. What is that? Uh, 142 DPS. One-handed melee. What? Uh, don't mind if I can do. Don't mind if I can do. There you go. All right, let's get... Oh, whoa, what does that say? I've gotten a weapon modi modification. Install mods at a workbench and upgrade your weapons. Yep, we pretty much figured that out earlier on. Oh, what in the world? Impact hammer. Now, I assume this thing is slow to attack. That's probably why the DPS is so heckin' high, because it does... Oh, wait, no, never mind. It does 58 damage, so we could use this thing, like, over and over again, like, almost three times per second. Uh, don't mind if I heckin' do. Get rid of that sword. <laughs> That's trash. It's a level four. Our sword is a level one, so that must be what I was talking about earlier. That's probably why it's doing more damage, huh? Actually. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's keep that. I was about to say, maybe I'll get rid of the telescoping staff, because this is also knocked down. And I can keep the sword. Eh, let's, let's do the, uh, let's keep the hammer, at least for right now. Oh, whoa. Ooh, yeah, look at how fast we could use that, you guys. And of course, we can block with it, too. That's cool, that's cool. Noise, noise. Let's decide here. Light assault rifle. 50 bits? What? Don't mind if I can do. Makeshift low pressure suit. Now, what about that suit? That's a level 2 9 armor. That's pretty good. Uh, Marauder armor, though, so people heckin' yell at us. Sheesh. I'll take it. No matter what I can do, I'll take all that, Ada. I probably should shut the door, honestly. So people don't know about us. <laughs> but uh, is there anything else in here worthwhile? Oh, yeah, there's this. 20 heavy ammo and 8 energy cell. I don't even know if we have anything to use energy cells yet, you guys. Uh, let's put our uh, weapon up, though. There you go, noise. And let's see. How's our, uh, what, what is this armor here? Oh, this is Marauder Armor 2. So, what about the mining thing that we had earlier? That's Marauder Armor, Marauder Armor... Everything's Marauder Armor, except for our hibernation suit. Uh, I guess I could be wearing this thing randomly, and people won't be at least in town, and then when we leave, we could wear something else. That way people won't be heckin' yelling at us and stuff, right? Uh, hey, nothing, nothing went on back there. How are you guys all doing? I'm doing pretty well. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Stun Baton. Hey, that'd be pretty good. What are we playing, Half-Life 2? What about you? How are you doing? Oh, gosh, what in the world is this guy doing? He's leaving. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? I think this guy's had too much to drink. Yeah, you're drunk. What? No, I'm Winslow. Lester Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. Yeah, this guy's definitely drunk. <laughs> shouldn't you be working? Uh, just don't vomit on my shoes. Yeah, shouldn't you be working? What are you doing in here, huh? In the middle of the day when you should be working? I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. Injuries, you say? Yeah, well, you were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> you sound like you need a surgeon. Well, that Conrad guy's quite the guy, huh? Uh, not a bad deal. Yeah, I guess I could say that. Oh, you can say that again. The Spacer's Choice family is the only family I'll ever need. Golly, this guy sound, legitimately sounds like he's in a cult. Like, everything over here is a heckin' cult. Like, holy heck. What about that thing? Is that a heckin' uh, Nuka-Cola or something? Uh, it's another algae logger. We had one of those earlier on. We can actually go back here, too, huh? Is this what we were seeing just a moment ago? When we were seeing red, I'm like, I could steal this. Currently not being detected, right? Boom. Boom. Noise. What about this thing? What is this? Bit cartridge. Two of those. Don't mind if I can do. Steal that through that. Oh, I can't do it that little... No, nah, whatever. I doubt there's a camera here. Ba-boom. Yeah, I'm good. All right. <laughs> what about this? I'm literally looting everything. Oh, and more bypass sh bypass shunts over here. Take both of those bad boys. Nothing else over here worthwhile. All right. What's that thing? I thought that was like a random safe on the wall. What's all this? I think that's another thing we've got to pick over here, you guys. Uh, no. Okay, that's good to know. What about this thing? Is that an elevator randomly? No, it's an office. I like how we're just walking around all over the place and no one even cares. Like, no one's even like, oh, what in the world are you doing up there, Hato? Like, it legitimately feels like I'm just like, no one cares, <laughs> you know? Uh, space or something, uh, Chaw, I don't know what that could be, but I guess I could steal it. There you go. Don't mind if I can do, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, Adreno. Nothing else here, right? Uh, how are we doing on carry weight, though? We're at 40 out of 100, so we need to, whoo, we need to slow down, you guys. We're almost at half carry weight. <laughs> uh, anything else around here? Oh, yeah, the fridge over here. Mock apple juice and tarmac and cheese. That's all. There, boom. There you go. It might be easier. It might be faster for me to just spam the heck and steal button rather than uh, holding it down. Honestly, like I could heck and steal so many things super fast. Oh, gosh. There's like a upper deck area here, huh? I'm stealing out in the open if I take that. I don't know if I'll actually be detected. Might not be worth it. Yeah, forget about it. Uh, what about this thing? That's not that it was like a weird hollow tape or some hollow tape equivalent. All right, let's get out of here. We have uh, other people to talk to as well as a mission that's like 60 meters away. So might as well go over there. You guys worry about shutting that. That's not my problem. <laughs> let's go uh, talk to that one guy that we need to talk to for the energy thing for the ship. Now, what is this? So tuna cannery. So this is where they're canning up the tuna things that we're oh gosh that we're seeing earlier. Is there a way to have to go through this? Oh, yeah, I have to actually go into there. OK. And what is this all over here? Is this still like an open shop or there's a guard? Hey, how's it going? You're safer. Inside the walls. Why, yes, I am. What over here? I'm sorry. Cor corporate I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Yeah, go inside. Go inside and make that heckin' tuna. Mmm, delicious. What do you have to say? Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Oh, uh, you don't even know a name reveal of me, so I'd heck and like to see you try. Got my sights on you. Yeah, as you're looking everywhere else but me. <laughs> what is this over here? Weird. I have no idea what that could be, like algae or something? Ugh. What is this, a church? Oh, yeah, let's go in there, resident. Just, ew, he's just staring at me. I don't even want to talk to him. More residents here. I like how it has a name reveal above everyone. Vicar Max. Might want to talk to this guy a little bit later. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna to talk to people like too early. I feel like that might be like a separate mission or something like that, you know. So let's just go inside the uh, the tuna place and go talk to this fella in here. Uh, I don't know if it Oh yeah, hold on. I don't think this is the uh, the energy thing, is it? Uh let's see. It works as a super fighter inside a Yeah, because we have this as our main quest right now, yeah. Here is right here. Find a power regulator. Uh, you've learned that a man named Reed Thompson is in charge of Edgewater. He might be able to help you out and find the part you need to fix the ship. And I assume he's inside of this tuna place that we're seeing this little quest mark frame, right? Perhaps. Well, there's no one here to greet me, so, uh, but, 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 dehydrated water tablets? <laughs> what? Uh, hopefully there's not a camera in here because I kind of want to steal that. You got, oh, it's an elevator. We have to go down. And, uh, I can hack that thing. Use that terminal. I don't know what I'd use it for. Is that a Face reveal? I don't want that to be face reveal on me. And here they're making tuna. Vending machine discovered. What? Where? Uh oh, is oh here we go. So I can sell stuff over here and get some money. Alright, vendor. Oh gosh. Spacer's choice automated sales units. Vending machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. <laughs> yeah, monopolies all over the place. Sheesh. 
A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine, which we do have, so that's good. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction. Or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Okay, well, that's going to be interesting, so we're, we're not able to buy everything here. Oh gosh, what is all this stuff? Troop helmet, ooh. Now what do we, okay, we have 119 bits right now, which you guys probably barely see up there at the top left. And this stuff down here is red, uh, restricted stock, yeah, so can't buy this stuff, so that sucks. But we have a trip blade here, 44 DPS, two-handed weapon. So this is a slow one, if it does 50 damage and it's only doing 44 DPS. It does have a special effect of bleed. Revolver, spacer's choice. Huh. Might want to keep the light pistol at least for right now. Sawed-off shotgun, we already have that. Light machine gun, what? 320 F or uh, geez, FPS, uh, DPS. So it does 19 damage per hit, 320 DPS, and that's only if you actually get the heck and hits like every single time. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, this is where you can buy ammunition too, so that's good. Nico pad, the bananas, the apples, the, pretty much everything else here. So that's good to know that we could actually buy the uh, the ammo here. So that's good. and we, we can see uh yeah buy weapons, armor. Is there a uh, ordnance control armor? Ten armor there. That's pretty good. Although that is pretty expensive at 350, and I cannot buy anything here except for the riot control helmet, four armor, nine armor on this one. Ah, intimidate plus three, determination plus five. Whoa. I wonder if I could buy the standard troop helmet. Medium weight corporate armor, solid protection, but cheap enough to produce for basic troopers. Well, I, I feel like I could probably find one of those around here. I don't think I want to buy that, honestly. But we can sell some stuff back to this. So I guess instead of instead of breaking down any extra weapons, we could get a little bit of money from it, you know? So, perhaps, maybe we could sell, maybe, I guess I could sell this, I could sell it for 6, I could sell it for 6.3, so this one's at 100% condition, I could sell it for slightly more than this one that's at 91% condition, so that's interesting to know. Now, what about this tap toss ball stick? I, don't, I never used it, oh gosh, it's only at 68 condition. Kinda wanna sell it though, but I've never used it, so, kinda wanna keep it as a meme. Oh gosh. It's Space's Choice! It's Space's Choice! 